Hey everybody, how you doing tonight? Got a different video for you. As you know, I do a lot of Amazon returns and pallets, and I got a ton of Nespresso machines on some pallets. Um, lots of different brand names, lots of different models, different pods, all kinds of things. So before I boxed them off and sold them, I thought I'd make a quick video and show you four different models and how they work. First, let's start off with the smallest one. This one is the Inicia. Might be saying that wrong. I might be saying this wrong too, but it's made by DeLonghi. They make quite a few different home appliances and coffee makers. So most of these Nespresso's you buy come with a sample pack of their coffee. This particular model, since it's the mini version, uses the smaller pods. Here's what each pod looks like. Bunch of different flavors, and so to use this, very simple, there's a water tank in the back, which pumps into the machine like most coffee makers, and then you just take this simple pod, pop that up, drop the pod in, and then you close it and it punctures it. And then of course it flows the water through hot, very hot water. It makes you a nice hot cup of coffee. So if you need space in your kitchen, this one's probably the way to go. Definitely small and definitely can save a lot of space. All right, next let's step over to this Breville Nespresso machine. To me, they make the nicest looking machines, more high quality looks wise and uh, more high quality parts. Comes with a real nice thick piece of stainless steel here. It's not the plastic like this one over here. Got a really nice look to it, a lot of chrome, chrome on the back. Nice cool water tank. And these use a different style pod. This is a starter pack that comes with it. And there's different espressos and then coffees. And what's cool about this machine is there's different sizes, like this one's a coffee pod. And it can read what the pod is and it knows how much water to put through it. As you can see, this is an espresso and it's much thinner. So the way this one works, twist this to the right, and this will pop open. Drop a pot in there, and then this will lower down onto it, and it'll puncture it, and then it'll start pumping the hot water through and make you a nice espresso. The other cool thing about this machine, and really all the Nespresso's, they all have a pod to catch the pods. So when you're done with this, you open this up, and it'll automatically throw it back here into this bin. So it'll keep it nice and clean. When you're ready, you just dump that out and wash this out. So you're not gonna get a big mess ever with this machine. So to me, this is probably the best looking machine, high quality wise. So yeah, that one's the Breville. Next up, we got another DeLonghi. This one operates basically the same way. It's got the tanks on the side, this is the water tank, and this is the catcher for the pods. It's got the same kind of cool style, like opening mechanism. And you twist this to the right, pops open, and then you set your pod in there. When you're ready, close it, lock it in place, which punctures it. Now this also has a motor inside that spins your pod really, really quick. That way it mixes it up a little bit better and forces all the water out of the pod. So this one as well, when you're done, pop it open. It'll send the pod over here into this tank. So that's really cool too. So but both very good looking machines. And some of them come with a, a milk frother. Which is also another cool machine. Uh, these three all came with the milk frother. The small mini one does not. I don't know if it was just that particular model, but it did not come with one. And then the last one, this one's made by DeLonghi as well. And this one's got a really cool opening mechanism. So these you twist and they pop open, you know, manually. And these you turn on 
and there's a motor inside, you just flick this up, and it'll automatically open it for you. And you drop in your pod, push it down, and then you know it punctures the pod. This one also has a very large water tank. Should be able to get lots and lots of drinks out, out of this model. This one is the, the Virtuo Plus. Um, the other two are also Virtuo, just the different brands, DeLonghi and Breville. We still have quite a few of these to test. So just to throw in, in addition to this video, I'm gonna show you the pods working and see the consistency of and how the uh, coffee comes out of each machine. So stay tuned for that. All right, just found another Nespresso Virtuo Plus. This one's made by DeLonghi, and I need to test it out, so I wanted to show you how this thing works. So this was the cool one with the motorized open and closed. So just push this up. Grab your pad. This one's a coffee pad. A little bit thicker, so you set that in there. Push that down. As you heard, it punctured it. And then you just tell it. It automatically knows that it's coffee, so it'll do the right amount of water added every time. If it was a smaller pad, like an espresso, it would do like two ounces. So this should run perfectly. And I wanna show you how the coffee looks. There we have it, a nice cup of frothy coffee. Nice and hot, ready to be drank. And this, well, all the models, they all self-eject into a container in the back. This one, you just push it up, and it automatically throws it back there for you. And all of them come with another separate container that catches them, so it's nice and clean, and you can just empty them out. So I don't know why so many of these get returned. I have probably about 30 of these Nespresso's and all but two so far have not have worked perfectly, like first time hooking them up. So they're good quality machines. I just don't know why so many get returned. I really don't. But that's how this one works. Um, if I come across one of the other ones in this video, I'll show you how that one makes a cup of coffee. All right, well, I came across another Breville Nespresso. This one's just like the other one, except for it's not chrome here. So it's the same exact unit, just not as nice. If you like chrome, some people like the flat black. Same design, it's got the two reservoirs, one for water, one for catching the pods. And uh, as I said, I gotta test these out, make sure they work before I can sell them. And let's test this one out and then you can see how it it brews the coffee. This one you turn to the right, pops open. That's a pre-pod I, I have to test, make sure it works before I actually stick coffee in it. So here's an actual coffee pod, stick that in, push it down, pops it, puts a hole if I do it right. And then it's ready, just simply hit. That, it reads the pod, knows it's the size for coffee, and puts in just the amount of water that you need. Hey, 
as you can see, my little plastic cup. Thank God I'm not drinking these because I'm just testing it. But this little pour cup is melting. I don't really have any glass cups that are small and will fit under them. I have a nice cup of frothy coffee. Super melted. So anyways, nice looking cup of joe. And just like the other unit, flick this to the right, it'll automatically throw that pod into that so you don't have a big mess, which is really nice. So that's how this one works. Uh, I'm impressed by these machines. I Like I said, I have a ton of these. And I've had only two out of maybe at least 20 so far that haven't worked. Um, just for the heck of it, check it out. Should open up my own espresso store, huh? <laughs> Coffee machines galore. These are all for my Amazon pallets. If you're into that at all, check out my other videos. I, I show videos of Amazon pallets that I buy and try to show you how you can make a little bit of money. But anyways, that's it for this one here. And I believe I have one more to show you from the other unit. All right, I just so happened to get another one of these. This is the Nespresso by DeLonghi. Um, well, like I said in the other ones, I need to test it out, so I might as well show you how it brews and how the pods get thrown back into this nice container here. So this one's a very cool looking unit. I like it quite a bit. Uh, this one you twist to the right, pops up, grab your coffee pod, throw it on in there. That locks it down and, and puts a hole in it for the water to get to it. And then I take my nice melted cup and let's brew ourselves a nice cup of coffee. Right after I brew this cup, I'm going to show you the difference. I got a Keurig over there that I'm testing. And the difference the coffee look-wise is quite amazing. It makes me really want to drink an espresso over a basic Keurig coffee. All right, that one is done. To me, that's a good looking cup of coffee. Same as the other ones, this one pops open and it throws, throws the pod in the back for you, so no big mess. So now I wanna show you the Keurig just for the heck of it and show you the difference in how the coffee looks. So this is a, this is a cheaper Keurig, but they all work pretty much the same exact way. All right, over here's a Keurig K-Mini. Now this one is one that you just fill up the amount of water you want and then you throw in the pot and it makes that exact amount. I just want to show you the difference in the coffee. So on this one you add the water. Okay. And then you add the pot. This one I'm just going to throw in a French vanilla. And most people know how Keurig's work, you just drop it in and it punctures it the same way as that. And this one, you just push the button like everything else. I just want to show you the difference in coffee. I'm not even really a coffee drinker, but if I were to choose one, it would definitely be the Nespresso. Looks wise, anyway.
Whoa. That one is melting a lot more. Hopefully it doesn't get a hole in it. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't expect that to happen. Holy cow. So the cure gets hotter, but <laughs> regardless of the plastic cup, which one would you want to drink? This basic coffee, which doesn't look that good to me. And then a nice one that's nice and frothy. Like I said, I'm not a big coffee drinker, so I know Keurigs are not very expensive. These pods are probably double, if not triple, the cost of Keurigs. And um, I don't know, I just wanted to show a quick demo. For whatever reason, these Solo cups don't melt whatsoever. That's why I've been testing it on these. But these guys, holy cow. Well, that was a, made it more entertaining, that's for sure. And then the Keurig, you have to manually take out your pod and throw them away, which not really a big deal, but it's nice having that one. Or the, all the Nespresso's throw a pod in a little container for you. All right, do me a favor, please. If you found any of that helpful, uh, like this video and subscribe. If you want to see any other type of test or you have questions about Nespresso's or these types of Keurigs, let me know and I'll try to figure it out. Like I said, I'm not a huge coffee drinker or anything like that, but this is my job and I have to test these out and make sure they work and, well, they work and they look, they look good, but anyways, like and subscribe and have an awesome night. See ya.